Hello children. Today's story is one of the large family stories by Jill Murphy and today's story is called A Piece of Cake. That's the large family. They are all elephants and here they are. Daddy, Mummy and the children all out for a jog. You like running. Lots of children at my school, they like running. I'm fat, said Mrs Large. No, you're not, said Lester. You're our cuddly mummy, said Laura. You're just right, said Luke. Mummy's got wobbly bits, said the baby. Exactly, said Mrs Large. As I was saying, I'm fat. There she is a lot. And there's all the rest of the family. We must all go on a diet, said Mrs Large. No more cakes, no more biscuits, no more crisps, no more sitting around all day. From now on, it's healthy living. Oh, look what they're doing with all the cakes and the biscuits and the packets of crisps. They're putting them in the bin. Can we watch TV? asked Lester as they trooped him from school. Certainly not, said Mrs Large. We're all off for a nice healthy jog around the park. And they were. Oh, there she is, look. In her tracksuit, got all the children's tracksuits and babies all ready to go. What's for tea, Mum? asked Laura when they arrived home. Some nice, healthy watercress soup, said Mrs Large, followed by a nice, healthy cup of water. Oh, said Laura, that sounds nice. There they are, waiting for tea. I'm just going to watch the news, dear, said Mr Large when he came home from work. No, you're not, dear, said Mrs Large. You're off for a nice healthy jog around the park, followed by your tea, a delicious sardine with grated cheese. Ooh, I can't wait, said Mr Large. Off he goes for his jog around the park. It was awful. Every morning there was a healthy breakfast followed by exercises. Then there was a healthy tea followed by a healthy jog. By the time evening came, everyone felt terrible. Look, there they all are, look. They look absolutely exhausted. We aren't getting any thinner, dear, said Mr Large. Perhaps elephants aren't meant, are meant to be fat, said Luke. Nonsense, said Mrs Large. We mustn't give up now. Wibbly wobbly, wibbly wobbly, went the baby. They are. Still don't look very happy though, do they? One morning, a parcel arrived. It was a cake from Granny. Everyone stared at it, hopefully. Mrs Large put it into the cupboard on a high shelf. Just in case we have visitors, she said sternly. That cake does look super delicious, doesn't it? It does look super delicious. Oh, that gorgeous pink icing. Everyone kept thinking about the cake. They thought about it during tea. They thought about it during their healthy jog. They thought about it in bed that night. Mrs Large sat up. I can't stand it anymore, she said to herself. 
I must have a piece of cake. Oh no! Mrs. Lodge crept out of bed and went downstairs to the kitchen. She took a knife out of the drawer and opened the cupboard. There was only one piece of cake left. Where's all the cake gone? What do you think has happened to the cake? Aha! said Mr. Lodge, seeing the knife, caught in the act. Mrs. Lodge switched on the light and saw Mr. Lodge and all the children hiding under the table. There is one piece left, said Laura, in a helpful kind of a way. Oh dear, she's got pink cheeks, look, she's embarrassed she's been caught. Mrs. Lodge began to laugh. We're all as bad as each other, she said, eating the last piece of cake before anyone else did. I do think elephants are meant to be fat, said Luke. I think you're probably right, dear, said Mrs. Lodge. Wibbly wobbly, wibbly wobbly, went the baby. <laughs> and there they are, look, there's all the family. Oh, baby. Wibbly wobbly, wibbly wobbly. <laughs> He's very cute. Babies usually are. But all the family loved Mrs. Lodge just the way she was, didn't they? And yes, if we think about elephants, they are big animals, aren't they? <laughs> Thank you for listening to my story. See you again soon. Bye-bye.